a privilege this most recent Sunday has spurred me to want to speak to you at least as face to face as I can to say thank you again for making it possible for me to be involved in prison ministry through your kindness, uh, your care, your support and your gifts. I really count it the greatest sort of privilege uh, to um, years ago have been able to cross the threshold uh, past the prison gates, past the razor wire, past the electric fence to meet the persons that are there and to see the work that God had already been doing there before I ever showed up, to see the souls, the, the fellowship, the shared faith, the co-labor that is there. The blessing for me on Sunday was to have been invited down uh, to fellowship and to give a message at a church plant in Ventura, uh, California, which has become home to a man that I've known longest, uh, one of the ones I've known longest in prison ministry, Gavin. Um, Gavin was part of the very first Bible study. He was a believer on the inside, part of the very first Bible study that I was ever a part of. And, um, and really, I have leaned on the prayers of that man through the years. I've known him all 17. And just to see him a part of this congregation, to see the congregation's value for God having sent him to them, it's really, really, it was a delight. It was a pure delight to go down there. So what has the Lord granted with regard to sort of the current state of affairs of the, uh, the ministry? And the most recent blessing is to gain access again to the Substance Abuse Treatment Facility Corcoran where it all began years ago. Um, being restored now, and I've only been restored eight weeks at one yard, just three weeks at another yard, but being finally restored after much application, I, I've actually run into 57 men who have attended those services. The uh, attendance won't always be that strong in those two studies, but it was just great to have access again for fellowship. And it's long term. I'm there and I expect to be there long term that way. Altogether, uh, weekly fellowship across all of the four institutions and all of the yards. There are 13 weekly chapel interactions there, and we're seeing about 100 men now. Um, as I mentioned probably before, and there are also a lot of visitors, and that was striking even this week as I was there, striking that there are so many visitors. I look back over the last month or so, and it's been a little strong just because of that surge at the reaccess place. But literally, I, I counted, I'd seen 197 men for a Bible study uh, during the last month. Well, does that mean things are rosy everywhere all the time? No. But what it means is opportunity. And it is fellowship every week. It is long term and it is very real. Um, for that, I thank God for stirring you to care and to reach out and to, to give and to help. Really through his work in you, he has made this possible. Thank you so much.